Good afternoon and welcome to this service of a midday prayer from Hampstead Parish Church. It is always good to be able to pray together, to worship together and rest in God's peaceful presence together. We begin this service by listening to our church bell. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. I bind unto myself today the strong name of the Trinity by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, of whom all nature hath creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word, Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with songs of joy. Then said they among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has indeed done great things for us, and therefore we rejoiced. Restore again our fortunes, O Lord. As the riverbeds of the desert, those who sow in tears shall reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed, will come back with shouts of joy, bearing their sheaves with them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. We spend a moment in silent contemplation, thinking about Jesus' words and especially Jesus' promise for those whose loads are heavy, whose life is particularly difficult at this time. Jesus said, I am the true vine. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit. Let us pray. Loving Father, today is the feast of St. Peter and St. Paul. We remember and give thanks for their example. St. Peter as the rock upon whom the foundation of the church, the body of Christ, and all of us within it, past, present, and future, are held. St. Paul as an evangelist, an, an apostle untimely born, whose profound conversion from one way of being and persecuting into another way of proclaiming the truth of Christ as hope light, salvation, and redemption. We celebrate them both today as those who have carried the gospel into the world in their hearts and followed Jesus in deep trust in his word. We give thanks for all clergy, for deacons, for ordinands, those preparing for ordination, and for priests, as this time tends to be a time of ordinations. 
We pray especially for those whose ordinations have been delayed because of COVID-19. We pray for all who have been licensed as lay workers in their parishes, that they may serve, that they may learn and grow, and that they may anticipate entering into holy orders and serving your church all the more. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As government guidance has been released and the House of Bishops and our diocesan bishop deliberate together about how best to discern a way forward, we pray for wisdom, for a spirit of hospitality and inclusion of all who belong within the enfolding embrace of the body of Christ, though we remain physically distant partially at this time. We pray in our own community for all who are volunteering to worship in our church in private prayer to make that possible for people, those who clean, those who volunteer. We pray that every community, that every parish in London and beyond will find creative ways of offering an authentic welcome in your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for any who are struggling today, for those who are sick in body, mind, or spirit, for all who look after them, for those who are carers, who support and who engage in work in and around the NHS. We pray too for those who are dying, who are close to the end of their lives, and for all who have died recently and those who are mourning and bereaved. Loving Father, comfort the grieving. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal light, shine into our hearts. Eternal goodness, deliver us from evil. Eternal power, be our support. Eternal wisdom, scatter the darkness of our ignorance. Eternal pity, have mercy upon us, that with all our heart and mind and soul and strength we may seek your face and be brought by your infinite mercy to your holy presence, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God bless the work of our hands. Amen. May God's blessing rest upon each and every one of you today. May you be comforted and strengthened, and may all of us learn to follow the examples of those extraordinary apostles, Peter and Paul. We conclude this time of prayer by listening to our church bell. Bye. Have a good day.